is Debbie Cunningham and I'm a jazz recording artist. Well, I've always been a singer and about 10, 11 years ago, I actually went back to school. I have a degree in music. I went back to school to study jazz because I love that style of music. Um, but balancing it is hard. Um, even balancing putting out a new record at the same time as my son is a senior in high school and, and then preparing to go to college. My daughter's a senior in college and preparing to not only graduate, but get married a month after that. And wow, I wouldn't recommend doing all of those things in the same year and drop a record. <laughs> I think being midlife gives you a different perspective. I have a lot of living behind me. I'm not a young whippersnapper just starting out or a young college graduate ready to take hold of the world. I have a lot of experience that I bring to the music and a lot of confidence that I bring to the music and to the entertainment side of it that maybe the younger generation doesn't have because I've lived a lot of this music. But being an independent artist, I wear all the hats. I foot the bill for every album that comes out, for all the music promotion, for every time I pay the band, every time I have a gig or a performance or do corporate and private events, even producing the whole record, there's, you know, writing, I wrote all the songs and produced the record myself, this one, and that's a whole nother ball game. It is fun to work with my husband because by this point in our marriage, we figured out that we just need to let each other do what we do well and get out of each other's business when we don't do well what the other person is doing. I think when you work with your spouse, you take whatever criticism, even if it's constructive personally, instead of professionally. If they don't like this particular line that you wrote, that for some reason you can internalize it personally. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. We've learned to you know not take things personally and to uh, get over things quickly. So yeah, we have a great time working together and, and we have you know a lot of years of experience, so it's good. With this particular record, um, did a lot of interviews with couples about those couples that had a hard time, that had went through difficult things and stayed together. And because of that, I also wrote a book. I'm writing a book, it's almost finished, and it'll be coming out in the fall. It's called The Art of Staying in Love. And it's actually stories behind the songs of the record. That's how it started. Stories behind the songs of the record and interviews with couples who have gone through difficult things and stayed married. And so that's another aspect of the message of the music and also a reflection of probably branding wise of wh who I am and what I want to promote. As an independent, no one's learning for you. You're doing it yourself. And so you just have to carve out the time and do the work and uh, make it happen basically.